2012, I had gone to visit my mom in New Delhi, and I was actually going to a morning park, and somebody called me from behind. Hey, Puni! The moment I looked back, I almost fell and broke my foot. I couldn't believe that somebody could actually have a fracture just by moving around, and I was shocked. I got a MRI. It was a marginal fracture. I got a cast. It was a six-week cast. The doctor that I showed to, she said, "You need to get your vitamin D checked." I couldn't believe my vitamin D was 16. Horrible. <laughs> Little did I realize that people, simple thing like vitamin D is not checked by most doctors in America. And I was thinking I'm getting annual checks done. They don't even check vitamin D, B12, simple vitamins like that. and trust me at least 80% of the indians i know and a lot of african americans i know actually do not have sufficient vitamin d to that extent 50% of americans don't have sufficient vitamin d wow. why hardly do we ever go out in the sun nowadays whenever we are working we are inside a building when do we get chance to actually take off our shirt and actually take a run where we are getting the full blown sun Do we go up in the morning, sit in sun, or do that sun bathing, which is so important? Do we get time to go to the ocean and actually do some sun bathing? No. Let me tell you why vitamin D and why taking it sublingually, right like this, waiting about 10 to 20 seconds is so important for not just for your immunity, not just for your bones, literally every function in your body. is run through vitamin d it's a hormone it's not just a vitamin vitamin d is very important but simultaneously most people did not realize how important is k2 and i am going to today tell you the difference why vitamin d3 is important why k2 is even more important to be taken together with vitamin d3 and why vitamin d3 Vitamin D3 is the one that is the soluble kind that our body can actually take in easily. The best vitamin comes from sunlight, right? If you take a massage of sesame oil, sit down in the sun, morning sun between 9 to 10, 10 to 11, depending where you live, you will get ample amount of vitamin D if you're sitting for 10 to 15 to 20 minutes. If you do not have time to do that, make sure you get your vitamin D checked. And if your vitamin D is low, supplement. Supplement The reason we made the one that is actually easy to take in a dropper format it's a lot more difficult. I also like the liquid gels which is again not a bad idea. If you're lacking in this, literally most of your functions are not going to work all the physiological functions. There's a saying by the prophet of Muslim culture Allah that it can cure everything but death. Now I'm not saying that that had any scientific reason. What probably he meant was this literally has the benefit in every physiological function in the body it is anti inflammatory 100% the main content thymocinine is used for a lot of chemotherapy medication manufacturing it is antioxidant it helps you build immunity it helps you with digestion i have a friend tony in new york who has actually told me personally that since he has started taking the black seed oil with vitamin d3k2 he can drink coffee again He actually could not drink coffee. I have another friend. She is head of Chinese American Association. She told me she had a lot of pain uh, around her hips and in her legs. She started taking it; it's gone. She stops taking it, comes back, starts taking it; it's gone. These are real life testimonies. Vitamin D3. Why is that important? Because vitamin D3 supports calcium absorption through the intestines in your body, and this calcium. is very important to build your bones build your teeth but remember if you have all this calcium in your body and it actually doesn't know where to go it could actually deposit in your arteries so you could have a cardiovascular risk in case you overdose on vitamin d alone why do you take k2 k2 directs that calcium into where it belongs which is the bones and it ensures that you are cardio protected because it prevents that calcium for depositing in the arteries where it does not belong so that is why i think everybody after asking your doctor should always opt for vitamin d3 and k2 we made it in a liquid format in black seed oil because the thymocinine and the nigelons in black seed oil 
they all act synergetically with D3 and K2. Vitamin D3 and K2 are both oil soluble vitamins. So they literally build up in your body. Unlike water soluble vitamins like vitamin B, vitamin C, these vitamins you need to take regularly. A little bit of it could be used in your body and rest would actually get secreted out through your urine or through your feces. Unlike the oil soluble vitamins, these actually build up in your body. So if you're taking vitamin D3, K2, ensure you're always taking it in the morning because it is mimicking the sunlight. It is the sun sunshine vitamin. So you want to take it in the morning, especially between your breakfast, you're actually going to derive the maximum benefit, not just in terms of absorption, but also in terms of energy throughout the day. So I suggest always take it in the morning. Try not to take it in the evening because for certain people, it could disturb their sleep. Now, remember, every individual results vary. Always ask your doctor before taking any supplements. There is a bit of misconception in America where they recommend anywhere from 800 to 1,000 IUs of vitamin D versus I personally have a strong belief that all of us need anywhere from 5,000 to 15,000 IUs. The reason being 1,000 IU was suggested years ago in a study and I think there's a lot more new research that has come up where they suggest your vitamin D levels ideally should be between 50 and 80 rather than more close to 30 or below. Please check with your doctor again before you take any supplements. And in case you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to our channel. Please like and share. This gives me a lot of encouragement. Namaste.